Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and saying that the when they try to cut it out, it, it uh, lasers, laser jumps all over the place. And there's one of the reasons right there is that um, these parts are not connected. And what we're going to do for just a second, we're going to delete these two parts and we're going to open up the windows, dockers, objects, and you can look, all these parts are different. So if you, if you click on this bottom one, the laser, let me zoom in here. The laser is going to cut the circle first and then it's going to jump over there and cut that little box, cut that little box, cut that little box. And that's going to take a little bit of time. And the easiest way to do it would be the smart fill tool, but it's got some leaks. So what I'm going to do is weld it. Now it's all one part. So it's going to continuously cut. And for safety wise, let's just see what will happen if we do use smart fill. I set a um, rectangle around it in case it leaks and it still leaks. So there's some leaks there but it should cut fine. So let's back up here and get these other parts back. This one I've already played with because they wanted to cut out like the blue first and then the, um, the black the second and then the third or the black first maybe. So what I'm going to do, I should have, uh, let me back up here quite a bit. I ungrouped this stuff. There we go. I would get rid of the black. So you just have the blue. And let's go down here and let's look at this closer and look at some of these joints and you can see that the nodes aren't connected. So whoever drew this uh, didn't connect his nodes. And I'm not gonna do it, but you could weld that together. Because if we break this apart now, this is the what he's talking about. Let's ungroup it all. Let's for just a second. Let's delete all this. Whoop! Deleted too much. Let's delete all this. So we, when we're looking at the the part by itself, look at all the. Let's see how many parts there are. Fifteen hundred ninety-two cuts. And what it is? Let's start at the bottom where most lasers would start. Let me zoom in here a little bit. This is what he's talking about. It's going to jump. Whoop. Need to click on your bar and then you can move up. It's going to look at it, jump around the bed. Now, if you're just doing one of these, it's probably not worth messing with because it'd be a little bit hard to fix this order. But, and I'm not going to get into it. And, and here's kind of the problem that these lines or lines. They're not rectangles, they're lines. So it's going to cut, you know, that separate than that. So there's four different cuts and it's just going to zoom around. So let's back up here now and bring back the one I fixed. So I'm not going to do it for the video because there's so many parts that it took forever to weld, but I've also fixed the corners. So it'll be one continuous cut. And what's also kind of cool about this is you can always check for leaks by let's take a rectangle and go up the whole thing, take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And you'll be able to see that there aren't any leaks because every little square is, uh, well, there still might be some leaks, but if you're just doing one of these and it's only, I mean, it's 14 inches or nine inches, it's really not worth the hassle after you fix this. But how do you get, let me back up to the original drawing. How do you get it to cut the green first, the red second, or the blue second, and the other one third? So that one's fixed. We'll grab on the blue and see they're, they're grouped together. So all you have to do if you want the black ones to cut first, if you look, there's a 12, a group of 12 objects. When it's, there's subgroups of 383 objects. 
But if you have them all grouped together, control G, and if we take this and we control G, and we take this and we control G, now they should be all, do, all into groups. So we look at it like this, here's the black. So if you want the black to cut, and I'm not really sure on uh, everybody's laser, but my laser, an epilogue laser, cuts from the bottom up. So it's gonna cut all the black. Then it's go, gonna go back and cut all the blues, and then it's gonna go back and cut the, the, red, the green, which is still saying five objects. Since we welded them together, maybe I backed up and didn't, I took the weld apart. Let's go to, let's ungroup them and then re-weld them. Now you can see it's just a curve on one layer. So that's gonna cut, it's gonna drive around there, cut all these nodes, but just in one continuous motion. I might look at this later to try to help him figure out how to cut in a better order. But if you're just doing one of these, by the time you get it figured out, you could have already had it cut out. I mean, the laser's gonna jump around for sure, but it's really not worth all the extra effort with this many cuts. I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank